Hello to my dearest friend, welcome to my channel. My name is Karamina Fuadi. I made videos about sophisticated lifestyle on a budget. So if you are interested on this subject, you might want to stay on this video. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys how I find myself again after an ugly breakup. It was not easy for me and at that time I was really devastated and really broken hearted when it happened. And after quite some time, I finally learn to find myself again to actually accepting the fact that he's not with me anymore so if you are still struggling to find yourself again after a breakup this video might inspire you to find yourself again so let's get started a little background story about the breakup is i was the one who ended the relationship it was not a pretty breakup for me and i think it was not a pretty breakup for him too I ended the relationship because at that time I knew he was not into me anymore and I can feel things are different and at that time I also tried to accept oh maybe he's busy or maybe he wasn't in a good mood but it happened quite a lot and at that time I don't think I can continue the relationship the way he treated me that time after I ended the relationship I started questioning myself did I do a right move or is it actually what I want breaking up with him and at that time I feel a lot of regrets that I actually want him back and then it gets to the point where I keep chasing him two months after our breakup and guess what I didn't get any response out of it <laughs> I feel embarrassed every time I think that and I'm sure many women still do this type of chasing to men and if you do please stop well after that breakup I did a mistake too because I jumped straight into a dating life again because at that time deep down inside I think I deserve someone better and I kind of want to show him oh there are plenty of men who wants to date me so <laughs> and that was not a good thing to start a relationship the way I jumped straight into a dating life after my breakup is I ended up hurting other people because I know I was not healed from my last breakup and I don't think anyone deserves to be our rebound and I am not a person who accept being a rebound because imagine you are the one to be someone's rebound how are you gonna feel about that anyway my wake up call of my breakup is when the time I found out that he was cheating on me during the relationship but I found out after our breakup that time I told myself that this guy doesn't deserve me I deserve someone way better than him I would say this is my trigger where I really want to push myself out of this grief I want to find myself again my first right to find myself again is I spend most of my times with my family and friends they actually help me a lot to get up again they were there to hug me or comfort me whenever I feel sad or just remembering the relationship again they were actually there for me and I'm actually really lucky to have them in my life and if you think you don't have family or friends that you can count on you can use the second methods i hope this will help you because i also do journaling after the breakup i wrote down everything i feel in a notebook i was being vulnerable on my diary <laughs> This actually helped me to release my emotion and make me feel relief because it was something in my heart that hold me back, you know what I mean? And in this journal, I also wrote down about my values as a woman and how I like to be treated. I basically wrote everything down on this journal, what I feel. Sometimes I wrote down my dreams too. Anyway, I find journaling very therapeutic for me to overcome my sadness after that breakup. Next, I watch videos and listen to podcasts about self-development. Lately, there are a lot of self-development podcasts that you can access freely. I listen a lot to the Icons podcast. Mimi and Alex, they are very inspiring for me me and their podcast really helped me to develop myself to see world to see everything differently and their podcast actually helped me to develop myself to be a better person so I would like to say thank you for Mimi and Alex next people would think that this is a bit cliche but I left all the negative thoughts untouched because at the first time I listened to the self-development podcast I thought like um they are very hypocrite or I subconsciously thinking these are cliche and they're just not helping me at all and I decided to change my thought into I want to change I want to be better I don't want to be like this anymore and if I keep thinking about those negative thoughts 
I will never get started, you know what I mean? I just keep thinking that ah, oh, it's not gonna work and stuff like that anyway since then I always love self-development contents everywhere it actually made me believe that I still have chances to be a better person to be someone better than I was before next after the breakup I have a lot of me time <laughs> having a lot of me time actually helped me to find myself again so at that time every time I feel sad or remembering the relationship again i grew myself like doing my nails or do my hair or taking care of my body working out i sometimes take a walk too in a nice park you can choose anywhere near your house it's free and you can actually enjoy your own company it feels really nice for me doing that to be honest it is very nice for me to spend some time alone because it actually helps me to understand myself more and i would say that taking care of myself is a part of me time like going to salons or doing at home spa it is a very nice thing to do so I think it will help you to find yourself again and lastly when you're ready and you want to jump into dating life again you will start your dating life with your better selves and hopefully universe will help you to meet the one you've been always wanting to be with and I also want to give tips for all women out there who are still doing this please never chase a man please no never because believe me I was the type of person who likes to text first and make calls and basically chasing a man and I was the type of person who thinks that my only goals in life is just get myself into a marriage or in a relationship I just want to be a someone's wife or someone's girlfriend and when I see in a bigger picture I just realized I am so much more than that I mean I still want them but then I realized I am more than just a wife or a girlfriend I have things that I like to do I have friends I have family that I can spend time with if you still think the way I was thinking before please realize that you are more than that and if you are still grieving please take your time to grieve and I would suggest you when you do that all the cry and all the sadness out please stay away from your phone because <laughs> if i'm sad and i'm holding my phone so i could be texting my ex again i could be ranting on social media it was really hard time for me to change but i feel right now i am way better than i was before so yeah i don't want you to have a chance to text your ex anymore and lastly this is actually the very last please don't take everyone near you for granted like your family or friends or anyone who are in your life please don't take them for granted because they were there for you you just don't realize that be grateful that you have them in your life it actually really helped me to accept that I am not alone in this okay I think that's all I have to say on this video I hope this video inspiring you to find yourself again after a breakup I'm signing off I hope you guys like this video don't forget like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys for watching love you and like usual if you want to get to know me more you guys can follow me on instagram it's karamina42